Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new video. Today we have the Big Bat Box. Not sure exactly which month this is for. As you guys know, they got months behind on their orders. So this is either going to be um, like June, July, or August. One of those, but it is the standard subscription box we're going to check out today. You can see that Juan Soto is featured on the side of the box. And every month they have a different design for the box. which is kind of like a cool little feature that they have. Probably the best um, designed uh, in terms of overall aesthetic look of the hobby boxes out there. So there's one set on that side, some random packs there. And uh, let's go ahead and see what we can find in this box today. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope that you're having a very nice Friday. Today is the official release day of Topps Chrome. You might say, hey, where's your Chrome preview video of Hobby and Jumbo? Well, they didn't have any Chrome or Jumbo at the local hobby store. I went to pick it out, and my cases are delayed. That's why I went to the hobby store in the first place. So they're a little bit slow getting Chrome out. And um, as soon as I get it, which I expect it would be tomorrow, we'll be ripping that open um, tomorrow. But we will have a Saturday showdown tonight, so make sure you check back for that sometime this evening, probably around like... 9 p.m. So here is some literature about the big bat box and the prizes you can win. Now, let's go ahead and see what the packs are for this month, and we'll take a look at that sell sheet that you see there as well. So inside, they give you a penny sleeve and a top loader in case you get a good hit. There's also a bonus hit in here as well, which we will cover that up. Don't want to see the bonus hits until the end because I do like to be surprised, and I'm sure some of you do as well. Keep that right up there. And here's the other packs and our penny sleeve and top letter in case we get a very nice hit. All right, so the packs that are featured this month are going to be Gypsy Queen. It's a hobby pack from 2021. We have a Prism bonus pack from 2020 Panini Prism. Then we have one of these coin um, packs with one coin per pack. I think those are from 2018. Next up, we have a 2016 Topps Update Hobby Pack. There's a 1986 Topps Pack. A Topps Archives Pack, 50 years of Topps. The year on that one, let's see if I can figure it out for you. Um, it doesn't really say. I guess I could always take out the old magnifying glass and try to figure this out on the back. 2001 Topps Archives, and we have a Stars and Stripes Pack from 2015. Here is the sell sheet. This is the July box, so they're almost caught up now. And uh, that means the August box will likely be coming soon, maybe even at the end of August. We'll see. But you can see all the packs that are featured are right there. And they have a raffle for a Judge, Alonzo, and Harper autograph card. And there's their um, social media links and also their website if you'd like to check them out and pick up a box for yourself. All right, let's see. I'm going to start with... Uh, I like to start with the worst pack and work my way up. We'll start with this coin pack. There's one coin in here, and Joey Votto is going to be our coin. Joey Votto has been on a pretty good tear the second half. Got his 2,000th hit. He's, I think he's amongst the top 10 in the league in home runs now. Just been absolutely killing it. Uh, next up, I think I'll go with 2015 Stars and Stripes featuring Chris Bryant on the front. This is a hobby pack, so there is an increased chance of finding an autograph. Let's see what we can find. Uh, there's Jameson tie-in on the back. Trey Turner on the front, so two big leaguers. Sometimes we'll get guys like Tate Matheny, and you'll be like, uh, who the heck is Tate Matheny? Well, I don't know if it's any relationship to Mike Matheny or not. We've got a Rob Refsnyder. And Jack Flaherty, who's swinging the bat right there. Of course, Jack Flaherty, you might know for his prowess on the mound for the St. Louis Cardinals. That's a cool card right there. I didn't know that Flaherty was ever uh, a decent hitter. There's Chris Bryant. Got the cover guy in there. Chris Bryant looking really, really young right there. Lucas Sims. So a whole bunch of guys with major league experience in this pack. Colby Allard and Jameson Tyne. I think the only guy without any major league experience was Tate Matheny. Pretty good pack right there as pack number two. All right, next up, I think we'll get this 86 Tops pack done. Now, 86 Tops, not a lot of good cards in this set, at least rookie card-wise. The best rookies are Cecil Fielder, Ozzie Guillen, Lenny Dykstra, Harold Reynolds. None of them are really worth anything, but the Hall of Famers can carry some value if you get a nicely graded card without any chipping on that top black border. 
A lot of people are going after these boxes just to get their cards graded. And uh, like if you look up at like a PSA 9 or 10 of Nolan Ryan, for example, it's going to be worth a lot of money. It's that top black border that's the issue. So we got Brian Fisher right there, former Yankee, former Pirate. Craig McMurtry. We got a Vern Rule. So far, nothing crazy going on. George Foster had some really good seasons in the 70s. I think he had like 44 home runs one year, 52 home runs one year that we have a Joe Desa. I do not remember him whatsoever. I don't know if I've ever even seen that car before, which can't be possible because I've opened a lot of 86 tops. Brian Little's next card. Then we have a Lee Tunnel, former um, bullpen coach for the Brew Crew. I don't know if he still is or not. There's Bill Campbell, Pete O'Brien, Tom Browning, who once threw, wasn't a no-hitter or a perfect game. That's his claim to fame. And then there's John Wathen, which... John Watson used to always troll this channel, but it looks like he's there's literally a donut on his bat right there. That's I guess that's what the batting donuts looked like back in '85. Is you know these pictures were probably all taken in 1985. Tops used to put their cards out right around like I think even like December the next year would come out. I remember getting like uh, for example Christmas of like 1989. I remember getting like 1990 Tops cards. Tom Bernanski is the next card. Hey Andy Van Slyke, one of my childhood heroes in his Cardinals uniform. And Dickie Knowles is the last one in that pack. All right, next up, let's go to this bonus pack from Prism 2020 and see if we can hit any of the good 2020 rookies out of here. Eduardo Escobar is on the back. And uh, is he also on the front? Is Eduardo Rodriguez is on the front. Then we have Spencer Turnbull. These are our purples. William Contreras. So you get all of your parallels that they promise you on the blaster box in these packs. Lately, we've been seeing them slip in the parallels uh, into the packs. Tops have been doing that recently. There's Jordan Alvarez, a very, very nice parallel. Jordan Alvarez rookie card. I like that one a lot. And Eduardo Escobar. So, so far for me, the Eduardo, not the Eduardo Escobar. Why do I keep saying Eduardo Escobar? The Jordan Alvarez is the best card of the video so far. Next up, we'll go ahead and do this 2016 update pack. Not a very strong series. It was a pretty weak series. I think from the past five years, you could easily say that 2016 and 2020 update were the two worst series. But there are some nice names in there. There's a home run derby Corey Seager card. Steve Pierce. If you're going for rookies, the best uh, series to go after is going to be 2016 Series 1. That's where they're all at. We've got a Chad Green rookie combo, and Joe Biagini is the last one. So two packs left. Let's go to wrap this up. How about we do the Gypsy Queen? We'll see if I can get this open without the use of scissors. Man, I'll tell you what. I can never open Gypsy Queen packs. I don't know what it is. It's just much tougher than all the other packs to open. All right, let's see what we can do in this final pack. There's a George Springer, Stephen Matz, Ruggie Odor, Alex Kirloff, nice one right there. It's worth about a buck or two. And Kiebert Ruiz will also check him for bazooka bags, which are super tough to find. I better check this one as well. Roughly one in every, like, five hobby boxes, I think. And we'll wrap it up now. This is the final pack. It is a hobby pack of 2001 Tops Archives, which I believe is just all older players. You can see Bob Boone right there. Bob Allison. So back then, it just basically used to be nothing but reprints, which is kind of uh, weird. But they have since updated archives and made it much better and fun to chase. That's a nice one right there. Nolan Ryan. There might actually be some value to that card. And Dale Murphy, 1977 tops. Very, very nice. 1968 Nolan Ryan. They cut out Jerry Kuzman off of the card and just focused on Nolan there. And we'll wrap it up now with our bonus hits. We've got a Key Brian Hayes, very nice, a Key Brian Hayes Chrome rookie card from Gypsy Queen. These come in those box topper packs and a Williams Astudio autograph out of 150. So Noah from the Big Bad Box knows that I like Key Brian Hayes, I'm sure, and sent that in for the PC. I didn't have that once. Noah, thank you very much. And Williams Astudio is our autograph hit. So that'll do it for the Big Bad Box for the month of July, everybody. Um, if you haven't got your Big Bat box yet, you can check them out on Instagram. Maybe send them a message and uh, find out where they're at in the process. But they are very close to getting caught up now, it looks like, as they are on the July boxes. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you'll check us out in the live stream a little bit later tonight of Prism. It'll be a Saturday showdown. And uh, if not, I will see you all tomorrow for a bunch of 2021 Topps Chrome. Have a great rest of your Friday, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody.